Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to add uh, these two polynomials. So to go ahead and do that, um, basically what we want to do is make sure that we align um, our, our like terms. And when we're talking about like terms, um, they got to have the same variable factors. Uh, so here we have x squared, x cubed, x squared, and x. Now, again, the same variable factors, x squared and x squared, those both have two x's, right? x times x are the variable factors whereas x only has one x. So therefore, they don't have the same variable factors. So therefore, we can't combine them. So pretty much when I'm looking at combining like terms with uh, exponents, I'm looking at one thing, they got to have the same base. And they got to have the same uh, power uh, when, when looking into combining them. So there's nothing I can combine with 2x cubed. And that's a positive. So I'm just going to rewrite that, 2x cubed. Now here, you can see I combine these. So I have 3x squared plus. 5x squared. And when you're combining like terms, the term is going to remain the same. Basically, what we're doing, we're adding and subtracting. We're just multiplying our co or I'm sorry, adding our coefficients. 3 plus 5 is going to be equal to a positive 8x squared. And a lot of times, you know, we look at this. Um, sometimes we're looking at combining like terms. We kind of use uh, you know, the, the idea of like, you know, bananas or apples or oranges. You know, if you have three oranges plus five oranges then you have eight oranges, right? It's kind of like thinking of the same process. 3x squared plus 5x squared is going to be positive x squared. There's um, nothing I can add with the 4x. There's no other like terms. And then here are my two constants. So obviously, the two constants, those don't have any variables attached with them. And they're just numbers we're adding. So that's negative 5 plus negative 1. And a lot of times when I'm thinking of negative numbers, I just think about it owing money, right? So you owe $5. And now you owe a dollar. So therefore, now you owe $6. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you combine two polynomials. Thanks.